Maria, tell me your story. Where did it start? If everybody will take their seats, we'd love to start the uh, media lunch. Good afternoon. On behalf of Rock Nation, Miguel Cotto Promotions, the Dallas Cowboys organization, and HBO, I'd like to thank you for attending today's luncheon, uh, and most importantly, wish everyone here a happy and a healthy new year. Just some quick fight facts. Uh, as you know, on February 25th, at the Ford Center, at the Star, we will witness the big return of boxing legend and Puerto Rican icon, Miguel Cotto. This will be the first pay-per-view fight of the year and Miguel's 10th in his career. We're very excited that this fight is on pay-per-view. Uh, this fight has been priced very attractively at $49.95, a great value for the entertainment that's going to be offered by these two great champions. As I mentioned, this will be Miguel's 10th pay-per-view fight. Miguel Cotto belongs on pay-per-view. This fight belongs on pay-per-view. And again, $49.95 is the price. In James Kirkland, he faces, Miguel faces an opponent that is aggressive and lethal. He's a great opponent. He's a warrior. He's got lots to prove. This is absolutely a statement fight for James Kirkland, and he'll talk about that uh, later this afternoon. I also want to point out that having Ann Wolf in his corner obviously will give James the confidence to be the best that he's ever been. And so he becomes a very formidable opponent for Miguel. This fight is going to be all about entertainment. Um, as I mentioned, it's a great value at $49.95. And we all know that uh, this fight with these two fighters, these guys are going to come and it's going to be a brawl. It's going to be action packed. People want to watch that. People want to see that live. And as I mentioned earlier this week, over 50% of the inventory in Dallas has already been sold for this fight with seven weeks left. That's a real strong indication that people are excited about this matchup. There's great anticipation. We've got a great promoter and partner in Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. They are promoting this fight very aggressively. And again, to have over 50% of our inventory sold during the holidays is absolutely tremendous and quite frankly it's exceeded our expectations. On either Monday or Tuesday we will announce a very very talented and exciting undercard highlighted by many Mexican fighters, other Puerto Rican fighters, and fighters from the Dallas and Texas market to add a local flavor. Again, as it relates to the main event with these two great champions, this is a setup fight. The winner of this fight goes on to a huge fight in 2017. There's lots at stake here. Both fighters are in training camp. Both fighters will be at their very, very best. Both fighters understand what this fight means. So the stakes are high. The stage is set. We appreciate you coming out here today to listen to Miguel and James. Before they take questions, I'd like to open up the floor 
to James, Mike Miller, and of course, Miguel, for any comments. Um, foremost, I want to be able to thank Pay Per View, uh, thank Rock Nation, and definitely my team, and Miguel Cotto uh, for helping me with this uh, opportunity, and uh, definitely want to be able to uh, make the fans uh, proud and uh, excited to see this match. Uh, we're definitely uh, in camp, just as well as Miguel Cotto, and put on a tremendous show as far as uh, uh, driving to the next limit and, uh, and making sure there's no limitations to how far to uh, push me to uh, get me to this uh, outstanding victory. Hey guys, um, from Team Kirkland, we just uh, want to thank Rock Nation, pay-per-view, uh, HBO pay-per-view, uh, Team Kodo for the opportunity. We look forward to uh, showing our talents February 25th. Texas is our home state, and with uh, Ann Wolf training James, he's never lost. He's got a tremendous knockout record percentage, and uh, we look forward to uh, the upcoming weeks of training and the final uh, the, the final, uh, when the bell rings, we're going to be ready come February 25th. Uh, get your tickets early. Texas is going to uh, come out proud and strong for James, so uh, you, you better get them early. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Miguel? I'm happy to be here. I, I have a uh, my camp start uh, two days ago, three days ago, and I'm committed to, to this fight. I'm committed to look the best in the best way possible for, for, for February 25th. And I'm in charge, uh, Fred is in charge of, of uh, my camp. Fred is the captain of the boat, and I trust in him, and I know I'm going to be ready for September, uh, February 25th. Thank you. We will now open it up to questions. No, estoy bien, estoy preparado para 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 el tío. No preparado, estoy preparado para el combate, pero pero estaremos listos para para el próximo eh, 25 de febrero. Gracias. The question was how ready he's going to be for the uh, 25th. Uh, he says, of course, he's going to be 100% ready uh, to give us a great fight. Miguel, habla sobre uh, regresar, regresando a Freddy después de un año y regresando con Freddy. Eh, eh, the question is uh, about the comeback. Uh, you've been out for over a year and now uh, you're coming back and with Freddy. Me, me encuentro bien, gracias a Dios. Pues, pues regresamos hace unos días al gimnasio y me he sentido de maravilla, Freddy. Me ha hecho trabajar muy bien y, y sé que el próximo 25 de, de febrero no tenemos ningún problema y, y, y subiremos en la mejor condición posible para, para obtener la victoria. No, I feel real good. I've been working with Freddy for a couple of days. Uh, he's putting me through the paces, you know, getting ready. And uh, there's no question in my mind that I'll be in top physical shape for uh, the 25th. Miguel, esta podría ser tu última pelea. ¿Y qué posibilidades de una revancha con Canelo si es que sigues en el box? Estamos... Eh, this is, uh, is this going to be your last fight? Are you close to your last fight? And uh, what about fighting Canelo in the future? Estamos eh, pensando en James. Eh, estamos entrenando para James. Estamos eh, poniéndonos listos para, para el próximo 25 de febrero. Y es lo que tenemos en mente. Lo que venga después, pues, vendrá después. Right now, the only thing in my mind is James Kirkman getting ready for the fight. And after that, we can think about what's next or, you know, whatever comes up. But right now, the only thing in my mind is James Kirkman. Michael, since uh, you've been the promoter and the head of this division, looking at Miguel's next fights, do you have like a time frame of, of when you want to see him back in? And do you expect him to be back in uh, historically? He's fought in June. Uh, is that going to be the next day? That's entirely up to Miguel. Uh, as he just said, uh, our number one focus is on February 25th. Um, after February 25th, um, I'm sure Miguel and his team will begin to think about the future. 
but that's the only thing that we've discussed at this point. Would you like to fight again in June? We'll see. We'll see what happens. James, you yourself are also coming off a of, you know long layoff. Do you feel this is the perfect fight for both you and Miguel? Uh, I, I believe it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for myself. But as far as from Miguel, uh, I feel like this is going to be uh, a good, a good event, a uh, good opportunity for me and me and Miguel to be able to. Uh, take advantage of uh, this opportunity and uh, put on a great fight for the fans. James, James, um, I think a lot of fans are excited knowing that Ann Wolf is going to be in your corner for this fight. Um, what are you looking forward to in this camp? And if any, are there any things you're not looking forward to in this camp? Uh, dealing with Ann is uh, um, not interested in knowing what the next day he'll, uh, is held when it comes to training, but when it comes down as far as uh, uh, what to look forward and what to expect out of, uh, out of camp, um, just, just to put like there's no limitation to what, what we're going to go through to, to get to, to be able to succeed in, uh, uh, for fight time, you know. Do you feel like she gets you better mentally for a fight? Um, de definitely when it comes down to mentally preparing myself and physically preparing myself uh, and definitely knows how to uh, push me to the next limit uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, it shows. Purple fighters. It's no secret that you're closer to the end of your career than the beginning and you must be thinking about your legacy. If you had to define what you think your legacy is to the sport, what would that be, and how do you see this fight adding to your overall legacy? Uh, when it comes when it comes to me, uh, I feel like uh, getting an opportunity to face uh, Miguel Cotto was somebody that uh, I looked looked up looked up to in boxing and seeing his career. On uh, the, the tremendous change that he has brought to the game, uh, you know, to, for for me to be able to get the opportunity to show what I can bring uh, uh, and, and take my uh, my boxing skill to the next limit um, is definitely something that I can definitely put down in, in, in my boxing uh, ability and things that I have accomplished in boxing. And what do you think your career has been? Uh, to this point, man, I feel that my career is uh, it, it definitely needs to uh, get put back on a prize and show that not just to the fans, but to the uh, to boxing itself, to the sport of boxing, that uh, Kirby is definitely a disher. I mean, someone's going to go out there and put on a great show, not just for the fans, but for himself and for the sport of boxing. Can you repeat the questions? Sure. As you look back now toward the end of your career at your legacy to the sport, what what do you think that is? And how do you think this fight will add to your legacy? This fight is going to be the, the, the newest chapter in my career. I'm going to take it. I'm going to handle it in the best way possible. I'm going to do my best first with Freddy in the gym and then the night of the fight to, to make my family brought this night. And then my legacy, I, I, I doesn't control, I can't control what people can say about me after I'm retiring, but all I do in life is for my family, for my kids, and that, that's, that is going to be my legacy, what they think about me. Miguel, there was a lot of talk before about you fighting Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, how serious were those negotiations, and what happened that didn't make that fight happen? We didn't get uh, we didn't get to concrete this this fight and never happened. That was all. Were you interested in that real possibility at one point? I think both part, both parts uh, were uh, interested in this fight. You said the weight was an issue that you kind of changed your mind towards the end of the negotiations. That's why the fight. He he knew all the time uh, our uh, answer on this chapter on this topic and. He, he already uh, knew everything about us. Miguel, me gustaría tu respuesta sobre la pregunta del delegado. 
No, eh, yo no, es algo que yo no puedo controlar, no puedo controlar que quiera pensar eh, el público de mí después de retirarme de, de, del boxeo, pero eh, el único legado que me, que me interesa es lo que yo pueda dejar eh, en mis hijos y es lo único que me interesa. La cuestión fue sobre el legado, si lo en español, si lo en español. Se estaba negociando algo con el señor Márquez, ¿nos puedes hablar un poquito al respecto de eso? Eh, nunca se concretó, nunca llegamos a acuerdo con Manuel y yo, así que estamos, estamos, hemos estado siempre abiertos a negociar con él, así que cuando él quiera, estamos aquí. Question was about Marcus Fight, and he answered it. Eh, Michael, uh, Marcus Fight, 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 I mean, there, there, there was some interest, um, you know, as you know, in this sport, there are fights that can be made and there's fights that can't be made and, um, you know, we weren't able to bring that to closure. Um, most importantly, we're excited about this fight and, and excited that James uh, accepted the opportunity uh, to fight Miguel. Uh, follow up on that, are you open for that opponent, for him, if he gets past James uh, in the future? That, that's entirely up to Miguel. Mm -hmm. Are you open, Miguel? I'm always, I'm always been here uh, thinking the best names out there. Michael, who is the next uh, fighter that one of these guys wins? I mean, one of these guys wins, but who's going to win the next fight? As I mentioned in our earlier, we're, we're taking it one fight at a time, you know, and uh, Miguel has, a, has a, a big challenge in front of him with James. Um, once this fight is over, um, Miguel and his team will decide, you know, what the next step is. But we're, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. We're, we're taking it one one step at a time. James, uh, when this fight was announced, uh, many writers said that this is a roadmap for Cotto to get back to Canelo. Can you speak to your motivation if, if you have it or have not read the articles and this fight was announced? You heard that. Who, who you, you change, that's James. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, honestly, man, uh, whoever uh, Miguel is one of the face next, or, or or what that fight may help with, it, with with that next person, is totally up to them. But when it comes down for me and Miguel Cotto, we're focused on February the 25th. So writers and the fans or whoever it may be. Entitled to looking at this fight, showing to be focused on February the 25th because that's when the opportunity for me presents itself, and, and I'm definitely one to put on a good show. And as a follow up, Michael and Tony, uh, I'm not sure if this is a question or not, but I, I think boxing fans would be really interested in James Perkins' training camp. Will that be a YouTube series or an HBO series that I love boxing? Since he's back with Ann Wolf, and everyone loves Ann Wolf's training about how intense she is, or would it be a 24-7, something like that? There will be some programming that's uh, being that's going to be produced for a showing on HBO that will you know, look at the training camps and, and the fighters. I'm not sure what we're going to name it yet, but there will be some new stuff that uh, you guys haven't seen before. Absolutely, we agree with you. Thank you. Uh, Miguel, en real, ¿cuánto tiempo más te ves uh, peleando? ¿Tienes algún plazo o simplemente lo que te deje tu cuerpo? Eh, estamos, estamos, eh, eh... <laughs> Hablando de, de, de la pelea, la próxima pelea, el próximo 25 de febrero, eh, estamos enfocados en ella y no, no, no hay cabida en estos momentos para, 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 para hablar de esos temas. Creo que después de la pelea de febrero 25, pues nos sentaremos y decidiremos hasta dónde y hasta cuándo queremos. La pregunta es, ¿cuándo ves a ti luchando por un tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo crees que tienes? Ahora, vamos a hacer febrero 25. Let's uh, get the fight done, and then we'll think about what's next. But right now, the focus is the 25th, not thinking about anything else.